Hey guys, welcome back to Packers Corner. It's Troy. I uh, thought I'd make a quick video today. Today is the 5th of March, and I have not received any word from my PSA yet. I'm getting kind of antsy. It's actually, I believe today, it'll be 43 days or 44 days, uh, business days that is. And uh, so I'm getting kind of antsy on that one. Uh, probably any day here, I'm hoping to have some response on on how well my uh, my first shipment I uh, did when I sent out in December. Uh, I did get one package in the mail today after I told you I haven't been I'm not buying too much at all because I've spent a lot of money getting graded, but I did get a package in the mail that I bought about a week or plus ago. And what it actually was was something I usually don't buy. Most of you guys know that I buy a lot of uh, PSA, and what I ended up buying was actually buying a BGS card. Yes, I bought a BGS card. I have a few BGS cards. Nothing against them at all. I like. I don't mind Beckett at all. I like the cases. Um, uh, most times I enjoy them, especially if they do graded jersey cards. But what I bought was, ta-da! This is a Rookies and Stars 2008 uh, longevity card. It's the Ruby Edition of Jermichael Finley's rookie. It is numbered 2 out of 249. Really sharp looking card. I think I paid about 4 bucks for it. Of course, plus shipping and handling. Uh, I figured if I'm going to get... I have one of these right now at the Ruby Edition uh, getting graded by PSA. In fact, I think I believe I have five of these cards right now being graded at PSA. Not all Ruby. I've got the Emerald. I've got the Sapphire. I've got the Autograph, number to 50. I've got the Base card. I've got the, the Holofoil card. I've got a lot of them. So, anyways, pick that up for about three or four bucks. Uh, real nice looking card. It'll be nice in my collection. The thing is also with this is on my cards back here. You can see these. This one is really... It doesn't fit very well. The gentleman that made this for me I actually made it to PSA only, and so it kind of is hard to fit in there. I can I can lean it up, but I can put tape on the back. Doesn't look that bad, but anyway, it's got that card. So, all right. Second thing I got for today is I had a friend uh, actually give me uh, a little tray of cards. And uh, he said he didn't want them anymore, he didn't collect anymore. But I don't know a lot about them. I was going to sit there and take time on eBay and uh, search and search and search. But I figured I'd ask you guys a little bit more. And here's a little bit about what I got. And you guys, if there's something in here that to you is your team, let me know. Maybe I can shoot you some stuff. I just don't collect much baseball and it's all baseball. So what, what, the, what he gave me was, uh, and I'll show you a few things. This is a... Uh, 2003, it is uh, called Big League Challenge. It's actually the bases from a Barry Bonds home run derby. Barry Bonds base, so he gave me that one. Uh, gave it to me. I really don't have any use for it. This is a Luis uh, Tiant, Boston Red Sox jersey, fabric of the game, number to 100. This is a 2004 Donruss card. You can see that there. hope these are clear. I really, really know. Um, he also gave me, this one's actually really nice, Joe Carter Classic Materials. It's not numbered, but it's a really sweet card. This is a 2005 card, real sweet Blue Jays card. Uh, here is a Paul Lin Lindblad pitcher, uh, Oakland A's vintage collection. Um, again, I, I don't collect baseball, so that one doesn't mean anything to me. Here is a Fleer Mystique. This one's numbered to 100. It's 2003. This is actually a bat and a jersey card. Uh, one of them is Jim Tomey, and the other one's Mike Lieberthal. Real nice card, number to 100, 77 out of 100. Again, if you want to trade something, or if it, I, I don't know, just let me know. I don't, I don't collect this stuff, but he gave them to me and said I could use them. Here's an Atlanta Braves card. This is a 2004 uh, Absolute Memorabilia Tools of the Trade. Javier Lopez, number to 250. It's both a piece of jersey and a piece of his bat. Nice looking card. Uh, and he also gave me this card here. It's a Fred McGriff. Uh, Tampa Bay Devil Rays throwback collection. This card's actually numbered to 25. Nice looking card. Anyways, I don't have any use for those cards. If you got something you could trade, or or if you if you know if it's something you could use. Oh, I do have one more. I think two more cards. I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't have actually three more cards. I got stuck in there. Um, this is number to 250. It is a Uribel Dur Durazo. It's an Oakland A's material card. Uh, it's actually actually a bat card. Really sweet looking card. Uh, it's 2000. 2004, so if maybe if you're a fan of the Oakland A's, you could grab that one. Uh, this is a you know, uh, National Pride Landon Powell catcher, United States team. Not numbered, but nice looking jersey card from the USA team. And then the last one I have is Larry Bigby. Uh, this is a piece of his jersey. Oakland, uh, excuse me, Oakland. <laughs> the Orioles is numbered 2 out of 200. Nice looking card. Um, I believe it's like his, maybe his third, second year card. Anyways, I got those cards, and so if you have something you'd like to trade, or if you're interested in something, I can try and pass them on to somebody that, that uh, appreciates them a little bit more. I did have one that he gave me, and this is the first one he gave me, and it's a, a, a Ramirez Ramirez bat card for the Cubs. 
Got a lot of Cub fans out there. It's 2004 bat card. Nice card. But anyways, if you got one of those cards you're interested, uh, shoot me an email, a text, or uh, not text, uh, a message me or whatever. All right, today's question. I want you to post for me what is the worst card you ever bought or invested in? What is the worst card? You thought this guy was going to be all that. You put a lot of cash in. Maybe you put a lot of money in. Maybe you got a bunch of his rookie cards thinking that this guy's going to be it, only to be screwed over because the guy stinks so bad. I'm going to go ahead and start off the, the little bit of a, of a response here. My uh, card that I thought was going to be good, and uh, I had to choose between two guys, and I went with this guy, and I got the pooch screwed big time. And yes, you're right. Ryan Leaf, baby. I remember that both these, uh, this Ryan Leaf card and the Peyton sitting next to each other at a store, and I went ahead and went with Ryan Leaf. I don't know why. I bought this one, and I bought a few other of his, thinking, oh, this guy's going to be all that, and Manning's overrated, and of course, I screwed the pooch big time on that one. I didn't pay a lot for it, but that is by far the worst card I have ever bought, the worst. What is your worst card you ever bought? So if you please post or, or tell me what is the worst card you ever bought, baseball, football, it doesn't matter what it is. Just post what's the worst card you ever bought. So, anyways, guys, thanks a bunch, and I will make a video as soon as I find out my PSA results. You guys have a great week.